Hi guys and welcome to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. In this spray paint art video I'll be trying out the MTN 94 spray paint to see what it's like for spray paint art. So the MTN 94 spray paint comes in a 400ml can and has a low pressure valve system. It also comes with a standard skinny stop cap. The lacquer base is modified alkyd, it has a matte finish and there are around 216 colours in the range including transparent and fluorescent paint and the price per can may vary depending on what country you live in. In the UK it's around £4.85 a can and the colours I'll be using are light yellow, hulk green, black and white. Right before I go any further I'd just like to say these are my own thoughts and findings about how well the MTN 94 spray paint works for making spray paint art. So the first thing I'm going to do is a cap test to see how the cap sprays. So I'll be using the stop cap that comes with the cans in this video, which is a standard skinny stop cap. And I'll be doing the cap test on a 4 inch wide piece of glossy card. Right then, before you use the cans, make sure you give them a good shake for at least two minutes each. And when you get them, there'll be a plastic cap on them like this. This is only there to protect the cap so it doesn't spray everywhere while in transit. So I'll be using a black spray paint to do the caps test spray on this piece of sheet here. Yeah? And as you can see, on the white can, there's no cap. This is because in transit the top got smashed and the cap snapped off so I've had to pull the thing out of the middle. So I'll be swapping the caps over when I use the white between the yellow and the white. So remember give the cans a good shake. Take the cap off as you can see that's there to protect the cap. I'm just going to spray a bit of black out to get it up through the cap before I do the cap test. So I'm just going to do one line up here. So as you can see there, the cap produced a nice thin line and didn't let too much paint out, which is good. So I'll just lift it up and show you. So as you can see, a nice thin line there. So now the cap test is out of the way, I'm going to see what it's like to paint with. So for this space painting, I'll be using glossy card, which is A2 in size. So the materials I'm going to be using for this space painting are some lids. These are just off food tubs, round food tubs, which work well for making planets and that. I'm going to be using a paint scraper that's for making stars. A paint scraper to sign your work with at the end of it. And I'm going to be using some plastic sheets. This is just the bag that I've cut off to make the texture in this painting. So the first thing we'll do is make the planet. So we'll get the lid stencils. What you want to do is place them on the sheet where your planets are going to go. So I'm going to have one there, big one. I'm going to have three there, something like that. And then with the yellow, I'm going to spray round it to give you an outline. But like IV spray, the valve system's really light, really soft. So when you spray it, you get a nice nice spray out, not too much paint comes out. So now we've done the outlines on them, we'll move the lids out the way for now. And then what we'll do is fill the planets in now, fill the outlines in with some colours. So I'll be using the green and the yellow to do the colours on the planets. First of all, I'll grab some yellow. So you get quite good control over this, the cap. So you spray it lightly and not much comes out. A nice coverage from the cap. And there's no splatter in yet, like spitting out of the cap. 
Now we'll get some green. We'll put it over top. Put a bit more yellow. And then a bit of black for the shadow, the shadowed area. Like I said, I've got to swap the caps over, so. Bit of white, bit of spitting off the white, but that's because I've changed the cap over. So it's going to be more of a build up on this cap than the other two. Now I'll do, get a plastic sheet or whatever you're using to make the texture with. Now I'm just going to crunch it up, get a bit of texture. So you just crunch it up so you get a few lines in it to make your texture. So just place it over top. And we'll peel it off to reveal your texture. So I like that texture, so I'm going to leave it like that. So now we'll do the highlights and shadows on the planet. So, with the so I'll do the highlights first, so we just want a bit of white. So nice, press the cap lightly. And then with a shadow here. I really like this valve system. Really nice to use, really soft. But now I'm going to move over to these three planets here. So I'll just swap the cap. Bit of green. Bit of yellow. Get another sheet. All this time I'm just going to crunch it up. Just give a line for a texture. First of all, don't forget to put the, the black and the white over it. And then take, take your bag or whatever you're using to make a texture, just place it on and give it a light rub. And we'll pull it off. So I'll do, I think it's easy, I'll do the texture on them all first, so bit of green, bit of yellow, bit of green, bit of black, and white. I'll just do this one as well, a bit of yellow, a bit of green, put the caps back over, so as you can see there, there's a bit too much green paint on there, so when I've sprayed the black on top, the blacks just separate away from the green, that's the reason for that is because there's too much paint down. The first layer of paint I put down, there's too much paint there. So get another piece of plastic or whatever you're using. Rub it. So you can go over it more than once to make your texture. But just be careful that uh, you don't do it too many times and then the paint starts mixing up and then you lose all the colours on your planet. Right, and for the last one, I'm just going to fold the paper like this to make your texture. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it.
You could add a bit more green here if you wanted. Just on on there. Just turn it a bit more. Just gives you a bit more mixture of a colour there. Uh, So now we'll add the highlights and shadows to the two planets. So the cap's spitting a bit now to build up the paint. So all you do is just, just scrape the paint away from the cap and it should stop spitting. So wipe first. And then we'll add the black. Right, so there the planet's done with the highlights and shadows. Just got to highlight and shadow this one. I forgot. So, with a white. It's like a mist. The highlight and then the black. So now we have the highlights and shadows on the planet, it's time to put the lid stencils back on. Ideally you want the paint to be dried before placing the lid stencils on. This way the lids won't stick to the paint and leave rings on your planet. But for the purpose of this video I'm just going to go ahead and place the lid stencils on while the paint is still wet. So get the lid stencils, place them on your planets, make sure you cover a bit of a shadowed area and the highlighted area. So now we're going to do the background. So first of all, we're going to spray it black. So just spray a bit lighter when you go around your lid stencils. So you don't get none of the black underneath your lid stencil. And then we'll fill the rest of the sheet in black. Quite like this cap and this valve system. Doesn't let too much paint out. Sprays really nice. Right, so that's the black done on the background. What I think I might do is add a few colours. So, add a bit of green first. See what it's like for misting. Just add a bit of bit of green here, I think. Quite like that. You can get a quite nice mist effect with it. Doesn't come out too much. I put a bit of green around this planet here. Yeah? It's up to you while you're doing your background. So 
see a bit of splatter there, but that's because I just didn't press the cap down properly, so it's splattered out. I think I'll do to a green, put a bit of yellow. Put a bit of yellow, I think, in between this green. Put a bit around here as well, this big planet. a white line through here see what it's like in the line so there you can just keep building it up bit of yellow either side of it and a bit more green I quite like how these spray. Don't let too much paint out when you press the cap down. Light. Might just do a bit of black here and there to see what it's like. And put a bit there. Quite good coverage from a cap. green I think I'm just gonna fade the green in either side of this so I'll just be pressing the cap down lightly If you don't, if you press it real, real light, you do get a bit of splattering here and there. But I suppose I've just got to get used to them, um, used to spraying, because it's the first time I'm using the MTN 94. So you've got to have a get a feel of the cans. So now I'll add some stars to it. So to make the stars, you just want to spray some white onto your fingers here. Spray it on your fingers like this. First of all, you want to flick it a few times away from the sheet before you flick it onto your painting so you don't get big white blobs all over your painting that don't look like stars. So a couple of flicks and then just flick your fingers to produce the stars. You can add as many or as little stars as you want to your painting, it's up to you. I'll do for the stars. So I'll just wipe this white paint off my fingers. So I think the last thing we're gonna do is just gonna add a add a star here, somewhere here, a small star I think. So 
with a paint scraper, we're going to make the lines for the stars. We're just going to use a wipe for this. I'll just put one here, I think. So, what you want to do is spray the white about here of your scraper, and the overspray will be making the line. So, Just remember to watch out for this, the paint running down off your paint scraper. Just take it and give it a wipe. Gotta get used to pressing the cap down and that. The more you press down the cap, the more pain comes out. So like I said, it's the first time using these cans. I'll do for the stars. So last thing we're going to do with this is just going to spray a bit of white in the centre of these, see what it's like. So with the white again, we'll just get it and spray it lightly in the middle. But that wasn't too bad, not much of overspray when it comes out. See, what I could do is go back over these lines here to add some more white to them, but I'm not, I'm going to leave them like this. So now we'll take the lids off to reveal the planets. That's a big one, I quite like that one. Just be careful when you're taking them off because the background will still be wet and you don't want to smudge it or anything, mark it. So I really like how these planets have turned out. The lid stencils did stick into the paint a bit but not too much for you, it's noticeable. So the last thing to do is to sign your painting with your pally knife or whatever you're using. I think the paint's a bit too dry to be honest to sign it. Let's just try it. Yeah. So if the paint's too dry for you to sign it with a pally knife, just get yourself a marker pen, a white marker pen or something like that, paint pen, and then just sign it. Get a bit of paint through it. And I think this one's nearly running out. Right, 
Right then, that's a painting sign. So I think the MTN 94 worked well for spray paint art. The standard skinny cap that came with the cam worked really well and didn't let too much paint out. If I was going to use the MTN 94 for spray paint art, then I'd just use the stock cap as it worked really well. The paint also dried pretty fast, which is good. The low pressure valve system worked really well and gave a good control of how much paint came out when pressing the cap down with different pressures. It may just take a bit of practice getting used to the pressure and how far to press the cap down when doing different things. But overall I enjoy painting with the MTN 94 spray paint and like how the painting has turned out. I found it nice to use and the colours I used were bright. But also just remember to take your time, enjoy while you're painting and let each layer stage dry before moving on to the next. So I'll just give you a closer look of the planet. So it's almost dry now. Still a bit wet in places, like there where my thumb was. Just left a bit of mark there. So I hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.